Oh, yeah, I just saw that was on, was off. Ms. Carbono? Here. Mr. Fortier? Here. Mr. Monero? Here. Mr. Hosey? Here. Ms. Hayes? Here. Thank you. Okay, we'll have the approval of the minutes from our last meeting of January. I do have one thing that I noticed wrong is uh, Mr. Hosey, his name was spelled wrong a lot of the places. Uh oh. Under roll call, it was spelled right, but on the others, it was all spelled H O S E. <laughs> we know who he is. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move that we approve the, the minutes as presented um, with that one correction. Okay. I'll second it. Okay, roll call. Roll call, please. Ms. Carbono? Yes. Mr. Fortier? Yes. Mr. Monero? Yes. Mr. Hosey? Yes. Ms. Hayes? Yes. Okay. Announcements, do we have any? Okay, we'll go right to old business. The status of the cases that were came before us on January 10th. And I guess we'll go to Wayne for that. Yes, I uh, just wanted to bring you up to date on the two cases we had um, uh, the last time we met. As you know, there was um, the one case that involved uh, holiday builders, right. and there was another case that involved the um, Carolina carports. And I just wanted to let you know that the uh, holiday builders that came the very next day to pay their fine. Yeah. Um, and the Carolina carports people, uh, it took them a little while, but they did get their permits, they got their inspections, they made the modifications to the shed at no cost to the owner. So that's all, both those cases have been closed. Well, that's good. No cost to the owner, that's good. Mm -hmm. We asked for. Okay. New business, uh, contractor license reinstatement for Mr. Leverick. Not sure that this is on. Uh, this case involves a uh, matter of Mr. John Leverick, doing business as Leverick Construction Incorporated. Uh, he has a carpentry license number 1189, and he wishes to appear before the board to seek reinstatement of his expired license. License has been expired since 2004. The City Code of Ordinance, Section 26168C, states that a certificate that has not been renewed within full, three full years after expiration may not be renewed, restored, or reinstated thereafter, except by reapplication and reexamination. Um, and I say he wishes to appear before the board according to his letter. Uh, however, we don't see them here. Mm. Um, I've had some conversation with him about this, and I've told him over a week ago that I needed more documentation to present to the board. I know he was at St. Lucie County trying to get that documentation because they called me as well. Um, and I explained to them that what we're looking for is proof of him being licensed there right. that might support his argument of trying to get reinstated here. Um, the last time I talked to him, he said he had a letter from them in a sealed envelope. I said, come here early. I'll open up the envelope. I'll make copies of everything that's in there for the right. board. Um, he didn't show, so I, I don't know what to say. I really apologize for him not being here. Okay. Um, I tried contacting him, left messages. Um, yeah, St. Lucie County um, is unlike us a little bit, I guess, in the fact that they, uh, they only want test scores. Uh, they don't care if he's um, been active with us or not. Um, we do. Our ordinance yeah. says after three years, um, that you your license is null and void. So unless it gets reinstated, uh, and the only way you have ever 
even entertain the ideas to bring it to you to you all to decide. Um, and I know there's been some circumstances where people didn't know, they say they didn't know, or they just didn't keep it up because they didn't work here. So those are the circumstances we bring before you guys to, to decide. Um, but looking back, I mean, in talking to St. Lucie County, if all they're interested in is test scores, we look back and we found two different occasions where we actually gave them a letter of reciprocity, which has the test scores on there. Right. So it's not like they don't know what his test scores were. Right. So I still think they're looking for a letter of reciprocity from us, which we're not willing to give no. to somebody who's not active. Um, and how, what's the fee to put your license on inactive? Ten, $10? $10. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. So, um, and, you know, there's a number of them that have been caught in that, and we've, uh, our policy has been that they have to pay the fees that they didn't pay for those years that they were delinquent. Right. Uh, which, after the year is up, it's $75. Yeah. So, um you know, in, in this case, is just going way back to 2004. In Four some years. cases, three years and a few months or yeah, whatever, we've given them that latitude right. uh, administratively without having to come back to the board. But uh, so I feel that that's probably, we've talked about that and that um, was okay with you guys. Uh, but, uh, you know, 2004, that's just way too long. Yeah. yeah. So he's not here to defend himself. I don't know what to say about this case going forward, but. Uh, we can't even put it on hold because we don't know if he, you know, if there were other circumstances. You know, maybe he, maybe he brought those. I, I didn't give him those letters of reciprocity, but I told him, I said, we have copies of the ones that we've sent in yeah. the past. I said, they know your test scores. Maybe he got it resolved. I don't know. Could be, could be. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a little upsetting that it wouldn't at least give us a phone call or something because I certainly hate to waste your time. Yeah. Okay. So are, are, we, are, are we looking at whether he wants to get relicensed here in Sebastian or? Well, he, he's looking to get his license. He was originally okay. sponsored. Okay. Because we here, sponsored him. And, but he didn't keep it active. So, yep. you know, he can't, it's null and void according to our ordinance. Yeah. Um, Not 15 years later. Or, so as far know. as we're concerned, he needs to go get licensed again. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. And, uh, I agree. And, you know, if other jurisdictions would like a letter of reciprocity from us, we can't give it to them. No. no. And not everybody has that same opinion or the same ordinance. I wish they did because well, it really... right. It would make you it... You need to... If you get your license by the people that sponsor you, you need to stay active with them. Yeah. They're the ones that gave you that privilege. And if you want to ever go back and get a letter of reciprocity from those people, then you need to stay active. Well, yeah. And that's just my opinion. I think the, I think our ordinance is correct. I wish Absolutely. others would follow. Absolutely. I mean, I think that for me, it would have been a challenge for him today in general. Right. Never mind the fact that he didn't show up. I mean, it's maybe he it's not productive. Out, backed out for that reason. I don't know. It's nowhere to go. Yeah. Well, yeah. do we need to get together a vote on yes or no on that? I'm this? sorry. Or do we need to vote on I, this? I think or? I think you should. Yeah. Okay. 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 I have one question. Did you send any written documents so that he can't say that he didn't get his phone calls? I'm so, say that again. I'm sorry. I didn't hear like you. for tonight's meeting, did he? Yeah. Did you send him any written documentation? To him? Yes. Uh, no, I didn't give him a notice to appear. He he gave us a letter saying he wished to appear. Okay. Um. Because he could say something, he lost his phone, or that's what I'm... No emails, Wayne, nothing? He could say what he wants, but I, I, got, I got phone messages I could play back that are not lost in my computer system. I mean, okay. he, he called me a number of times. I called him a number of times, so it, I had at least three or four contacts with him okay. this past okay. week. I just, yeah, just want to verify so that we've given no, him I, a chance. I didn't send him a notice to appear, no. Okay. I, I didn't, maybe I should have, I don't know, I didn't think it was prudent. He was the one that was asking to appear. Yeah, it's his benefit. Right. I mean, this is for him, the value right. is with so him. So if he's, yeah. he's giving me a letter saying I want you to <laughs> appear, I don't need to give him a notice exactly. to say here, appear. Yeah. I mean, I could have, you're right, that would have been. That's the only thing I think that might come a back. A paper trail, but. Um, 
Actually, you know what? I think I did send him an email. Okay. That's all it uh, takes. Because I didn't get a hold of him. I did send him an email with the email address that he provided here. Mm -hmm. And I sent him an email and I said, look, I need that documentation. I don't want to come to the board with nothing. You, you've got to have some backup. They're not just going to take your word for it. Right. So, yeah, I do have that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Do we have any other deliberation or questions about this? The staff already summarized, so I, I guess I, we'll... I do have copies of these, those letters of reciprocity. If you'd like, I can right. hand these out. It's if you'd like to see them. Kind of a moot point now. Yeah. <laughs> So basically what we're looking at here, this, this is what a, our letters of reciprocity look like. Um, and one was sent in 2009, one was sent in 2011. And under the comments, you'll notice that it does say that there's no complaints. However, this contractor has not been active since 930, 2004. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we've already given them the benefit of the doubt here is 2011. His license was seven years expired, but we, we sent it at the time. Yeah. Um, so it's not like they don't know what his scores are. I think they're looking for a fresh copy of this. Absolutely, I we, think so too. We can't provide. They don't like that last little thing that says he's been inactive. Yeah, because he did say that, you know, when, when the economy was down that he had uh, other things that he was doing. So, um, it could be that he let his license lapse there and then he was trying to get it reinstated maybe once, in St. Lucie County. Once you go through that and the testing and everything to let it lapse, I mean, that's just, if you're right. a, a business person of any kind. Right. Well, and then the county, county doesn't sponsor him, so right. they're saying, okay, go back to Sebastian, get another letter of reciprocity. Well, that's where he ran into this problem. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, um, do you want to have a motion as to uh, what to do with this? Or do you want to just um, chalk it up to uh, what our um, code says? Our code says a, a certificate which is not renewed within three full years after expiration may not be renewed, restored, or reinstated except for reapplication and, and reexamination. It's cut and dry, pretty much. Is that good enough, Wayne? If if not, then we could just move to not approve and then vote. I mean, that's that's. I don't think anybody. It's the board's it. pleasure, but yeah, I would say uh, someone should make a motion one way or the other, and then have a vote. Did you want to do it? Me? No, you can go ahead and make okay. a motion. I mean, I I move um, that we not approve it. Period. I'll second that. Roll call. Ms. Carbono? No. Do I want to vote no? Yes. I want to vote no, right? The way it was said. You want to vote not yes. I, I move that we do not approve it. Okay. Yes. Mr. Fortier? Yes, I moved it, yeah. Mr. Monero? Yes. Mr. Hosey? Yes. Ms. Hayes? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Not approved. On to the next. Building official matters. None. The board matters. Election of board chairman and vice chairman. Um, I'm just bringing this up for discussion. Okay. Um, 
just looking back and talking to our city clerk, I uh, think in 2010 is um, when you became the chair. Probably. And James Fortier was vice chair, I think in 2012. Um, I'm just simply bringing it up. It's up to the board. Uh, we looked in our ordinance and some of the boards have a specific uh, time frame that they have to uh, reelect or elect a new chair. Um, our code doesn't seem to say that, um, but I think since it's been a while, it's at the boards, I'm just bringing it up for discussion. It's at your discretion as to whether you want to uh, reaffirm or elect a new chair, vice chair. Um, it's really up to you guys what you want to do. You don't have to do anything if you don't want to. No, I know. Yeah, I sit in board meetings all day. I know, yeah. Okay, did we want to elect a new chairman and a new vice chairman? It's up to you guys. Well, I think the, the question would be, are you comfortable with what you have? I haven't missed a meeting yet. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I have another question. Who's the vice chairman? Me. Currently it's James. Yeah. yeah. Which I have no issue with, which means I could step in if there was an issue. But I mean, I, I like it the way it is. I think it's fine. Um, I, I think that uh, if that's the case, then someone should make a motion and a uh, second and put it to vote and uh, okay. just kind of solidifies it. I don't want to do it because I'm well I'll make a motion that we keep the chairman the current chairman and the vice chairman um, as we have him. I'll second that. Roll call. Ms. Carbano? Yes. Mr. Fortier? Yes. Mr. Monero? Yes. Mr. Hosey? Yes. Ms. Hayes? Yes. Okay, motion's been made, seconded and passed. So, attorney matters none. 15 minutes to the public, none. I guess we can adjourn. Thank you.